It's 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, and the players are arriving for their first match together, a friendly against Hendon FC. Cherby, the little loud lad. Yeah, he's left back. Left back. Bash arrives with his trusted assistant, Mace. He'll coach the lads and keep them in order. Stay away. Although one of the players makes a bit of a flash entrance, Bash is not impressed. Am I the last one? I think so. Asian TV presenter Aaron is one of the last to arrive. Then it's time for Fash FC's first match. A friendly against Hendon FC. Experienced and tough opposition. Fash's squad have had no coaching at this point and have never played together before. And we are off and underway in the first match for Fash FC of the 2003-2004 season. Uh, but at the moment it really very much is just get stuck in and see what happens. Oh, that's a sidling tackle. That is a big, bad tackle there. Warren War manages to get himself up to his feet. He's got a big smile on his face, Warren War. But I think the referee is going to have a word here with the youngster. Fash FC have been under sustained pressure in the first half resulting in a number of corners to the opposition. In comes the delivery right across the face of goal and into the back of the net. And Fash FC have conceded their first goal of the season. And the news wasn't getting any better for Fash and the boys. Now here's Joel Bevis, surging run for Hendon. In they go and gets the shot away. The offside flag is raised over there, but it's going to count still. Forward come Hendon now, good ball into space, and this is another chance, Fash FC up against it here. Oh, and the shot slashed in from Byfield, and that's the second sitter he's missed this afternoon. Collins gets away with it, came out, and well, that's a let-off for John Fash and his team. Hendon FC in possession now, looking to try and work their third goal of the afternoon. Two goals to nil, they lead, and Collins comes, he flaps at it, and Collins is down. He needs to get himself back onto his feet, over it goes, oh, what a header away, and that's just saved on the line. Big challenge in on Dylan. And what a diving header from Stephen Lacey. Stuart Collins, the goalie, is hurt. He's very, very hurt down there. And what a header that was from Lacey. In he comes there. And look, he just collided there with Byfield, who tries to get in. He didn't get up very quickly. In comes the shot. And look at that diving header. In he comes. But as Hendon surged forward once more, things were about to get embarrassing for Fash FC. Now it's Vieira Lopez, goes for goal. Stuart Collins, oh, Stuart Collins has made a hash of it. That is an absolute shocker from Stuart Collins. And 3-0 Hendon lead. Well, that's going to put a smile back on the face of Christopher Campbell as we go to half-time, the reserve goalie. And so Fash it's half-time in their first friendly match, and the lads are already 3-0 down. Can Fash FC claw it back in the second half? Find out after the break. Sunday morning is a time for peace and relaxation. But not for everyone. If you want to liven up your Sundays, then get yourself out of bed and come down and watch Fash and the Boys in action. Getting to the match is easy. The stadium is situated in Barnet, North London. By overland, travel to Cricklewood on Thameslink. Come on! By tube, take the northern line to Brent Cross. And if you're coming by car, the nearest main roads are the A41 and the A406 North Circular. The choice of travel is up to you. Parking and entrance is free. Kickoffs at one. See, taken on this left hand side by Warren Wall. Great ball in. Oh, and it's straight in. See you there. Back on the pitch, the lads are trailing 3-0. Out of desperation, the gaffer throws on latecomers Jamal and Aaron to see if they can make an impact. And we are off and underway here in the second half. It's Hendon in the green and white stripes attacking the goal away to our right-hand side. And they lead by three goals to nil here as we enter the second half. Bash FC make a better start and apply the pressure to Hendon's defence. Phillips and it could be Sam Diamond released through here. Sam Diamond is in. Could have our first goal for Fash FC and it's into the back of the net. Sam Diamond gets the first goal for Fash FC and John Fashion who's on the pitch. Everybody's on the pitch. They're celebrating over there in front of the dugout. Look at these scenes here. Sam Diamond it is. There he is celebrating with his teammates. Sam Diamond, the 23 year old from Manchester, gets the first goal for Fash FC of the season and what a strike it was. Fash FC then in possession, Bellet in field, looking for Jamal Perara. I think we're going to have to get him a new uh, 
the new tea cosy for his head because that bright purple doesn't really go with the orange and black stripe still gets the shot away blocked this time and there's a man on the back post oh and there's another goal and it's pat mccarthy from the right hand side sneaking in there on the back post nobody expected that certainly none of the hender defenders and pat mccarthy off the bench to score and look fash is off the bench once again he's celebrating down there with his players and it's pat mccarthy 3-2 now just one goal between these two sides we've got game on here it's going to be a throw in on the right hand Fresh FC's bold comeback is stopped in its tracks by Hendon's fourth goal. Campbell flaps at it, oh and it's into the back of the net, Chris Campbell comes and flaps at it and the Fash FC goalie couldn't get there and it's going to be the second goal of the game for Joel Bevis, he's been the star of the show so far for Hendon this afternoon. They trail by four goals to two here. With five minutes to go, the final nail is driven into the coffin. Goal coming in, oh and it's into the back of the net, nothing Chris Campbell could do about that one. Chris Campbell beaten once again, second time in this half and well Chris Campbell a dejected figure, what a strike that was and oh dear, Fash not... But there was still time for a spectacular consolation goal for Fash FC. Well, great ball in, oh and it's straight in! straight the way through into the back of the net and he's going to celebrate that one warren war he is the man look at him celebrating down there to the camera warren war look at that mean look Hinchcliffe showed good skill now here's hindered on the attack lovely little back heel nutmeg there chris campbell's beaten oh how has he not scored there he's found the side netting and look at the look on his face that is up there with the biggest howlers of the season so far and there goes the full-time whistle for the opening game of the season for Fash FC in the 2003-2004 season. Well, what a disappointing afternoon. McCarthy shed some light on it with a goal in the second half. And there's Jason Phillips as well, who was a bright light for Fash FC this afternoon. John Fashion, who's got some work to do there.